one of the patients most at risk is 15-year-old William Wilson. He depends on a huge machine to keep blood pumping through his body. Without it, he will die within minutes. During the 10 months William's been waiting for a heart transplant, nurse Jean Braham has become his friend and confidant. I've got some good news. We're flying out in a chopper and they are super cool. Are you coming with me? Of course. Nurse Jean Braham tells William about the evacuation. He tries not to alarm his young patient. William's evacuation will be exceptionally challenging. He'll need a specially equipped helicopter with medical equipment and a generator on board. The chopper must be large and powerful enough to accommodate William's 227 kilogram life support machine. Fifteen-year-old William Wilson is still trapped at Tulane. Staff are trying to find a way to evacuate him along with his 227 kilogram life support machine. So far, they've not been able to find a big enough helicopter. Okay. Just after sunset, William Wilson is still waiting to be evacuated. Suddenly, the emergency generator truck sputters and dies. It has run out of fuel. William's life support machine is now running on batteries. OK, look, there's only 25 minutes left in this battery. If the device had been turned off within 30 seconds, he probably would have succumbed. But William's portable generator won't last until morning. So the hospital will have to make an exception and get him out tonight. Don't forget, you promised me a ride in the chopper. But evacuating William tonight depends on whether the pilot from Arkansas is willing to risk his own life. But William's journey to the helipad will be even more difficult and life-threatening than Drew's. Sit down. Squeeze. Simple as that, okay. William cannot be moved while connected to his machine. The one, two, three disconnect moment was one of the scariest moments of my life. William's nurse isn't the only one who's scared. He didn't let on a whole lot, but he got quiet, and that's when we could tell something was going on. At the best of times, William's life assist machine only duplicates 50% of what his heart does. As Nurse Braham hand pumps his heart, that figure is reduced dramatically. He knows that the margin for error is slim. As Nurse Braham and William arrive at the helipad, some unexpected news. William's machine won't fit inside the helicopter. As a result, it can't plug into the helicopter's power supply. William must continue to be hand pumped. There is no alternative. Which I was shocked by because they'd asked for dimensions and I'd measured everything as well as I could. And it wouldn't fit. And so the look was, what do we do? With only a fraction of his normal blood flow, William is starting to feel sluggish. He's never been hand pumped this long. If the wait continues much longer, William's heart will fail. William Wilson's life support machine won't fit through the door of the rescue helicopter. What do we do? Do we continue on on hand pumping, or do we try and fix this somehow? Do we shove it in? 
Nurse Braham knows that staying at Tulane is not an option. It's time for some split-second ingenuity. And then one of the paramedics, again, looked on the bottom and said, hey, these wheels come off. The removal of the wheels is just enough to allow William's life assist machine to fit snugly in the helicopter. We slid the machine in, plugged it up, started the engines, off we went. It is after midnight before William and Nurse Braham can fly out. But at last, they're on their way to safety.